This is a reading for the Washington State Chapter 2 quiz. Question number one. What enabled the coastal natives to develop their culture more than the plateau natives? Option one. The coastal natives lived in a region that was dry in the summer and very cold in the winter. Option two. The coastal natives used the mountains to collect needed resources. Option three. The coastal natives lived in a region that had a mild climate and they did not have to move around to follow their food. Option four, the coastal natives had to move a lot to follow their food. Second question, how did trade affect the different native groups in Washington state? Option one, trade pushed the different tribes to meet in places like the Dalles. Option two, through trade, Germs, diseases were passed from one tribe to another. Option three, trading items allowed the tribes to get resources that they did not have. Option four, all of the above. Question three, how did the geography of the Columbian Plateau region affect the plateau natives? Option one, the weather did not affect them very much. Option two, the weather provided rain for their crops. Option three, it forced the natives to move in the cold winters to follow their food. Option four would be both A and B, which would be this choice and this choice. Question four is a matching question and you need to match each explorer with the important thing that they discovered. Option A is Lewis and Clark, Option B is George Vancouver. Option C is Juan de Fuca. And the different events or things are explored and mapped the Puget Sound region, route across the USA to the Pacific Northwest, or found a narrow passage of water between Vancouver Island and the Olympic Peninsula. Question five. How did Gray's discovery of the Columbia River impact the United States? Option one, it made other explorers interested in the area. Option two, they learned of new resources and new trade partners. Option three, more people came to explore the new region. Option four, all of the above. Question six, how did the fur trade affect life in the Oregon country? Option one, it provided jobs for men willing to live in the, in the wild. Option two, it brought some species of animals almost to extinction. Option three, it brought more Americans and Europeans to the Pacific Northwest. Option four is all of the above. And option five is both A and C. And that would be this choice A and this choice C. Question seven, why were Catholic missions more successful at converting natives? Option one, they allowed the natives to keep some of their traditions and customs. Option two, they were more brutal in forcing the natives to switch religions. Option three, they were not as successful. Option four is none of the above. Question eight, British fur traders seemed more successful at trading furs with the natives than the Americans because they were more violent and scared the natives more. Option two, they seemed more patient with the natives and created forts to benefit the natives and traders. Option three, the British had about as much success as the American traders. And this ends the questions and answers for Washington State History Test number or chapter two. Please feel free to rewind and repause the video if you need to. Thank you.